Hi, I was going to do an unboxing today, but there's no box. How about a first look? That'll work. So, many of you know that I play guitar and I've been experimenting with this that I found used. It is an Ibanez SRC electric short scale bass. The C stands for crossover. And I've been kind of using this more as a baritone electric guitar. This is tuned from E, an octave lower than a regular electric guitar, to a higher E. It, it, you can play it just like any other six string electric guitar. All of the chord shapes and everything work exactly the same. But E is a little lower than what most baritone guitars start at. So I've been looking at them and there was one that I was really, I love the sound of it, it but it had uh, P90 style pickups or soap bar style pickups. They're a single coil and they can tend to get noisy at times depending on uh, what your signal chain is like. Um, when you're recording. So I was really thinking about it because brand new that guitar sold for $400. Good price. Um, as I was starting to look at that the Ibanez came up for sale and I bought that so that I could experiment and make sure that I wanted to go that route. And I did. In the meantime I was looking at other baritones besides just the the noise from the pickups a big thing about electric guitars to me is also looks and as well as sound if I don't like the looks of it I'm not gonna play it as often I'm not gonna pick it up as often quite honestly I just won't because I won't like it as much so that was kind of two strikes against that one brand new guitar at $400. I didn't like the shape. I didn't like the, the shape of the body. I didn't like the shape of the headstock. It was gloss black. Gloss black leaves fingerprints like crazy. And I hate, I hate that. Uh, I found another one that was brand new that was about five hundred and eighty dollars and I wasn't I liked it better it had better pickup options that you could still split and get a single coil type sound but it was a humbucker type pickup configuration dual humbucker and the color that was available the only color that was available I was having some difficulty with it would have been okay but then I found this one comes in this came in a beautiful gig bag it was used and I haven't looked real closely at it yet um, it was going to be shipped to me and it was taking them a little while, and it wasn't that far away. It was about an hour and a half drive. So I went and drove up to get it, and they discounted the shipping cost, uh, refunded the shipping cost back to me. And this is a 
PRS, or Paul Reed Smith is what that stands for. This is their SE line, and I've heard a few different versions of what that SE stands for. Today, it basically stands for Student Edition. Um, and it basically means they're cheaper than the U.S. made guitars. This one was made in Korea. This guitar, um, I don't think it has a date on it. This was either made in 2018 or 2019, I think probably 2018. And um, actually, wait a minute, it did come with some, some things in the case from the original purchase. This was in 2018, uh, March of 2018 is when this was inspected in the United States. Because they do inspect them here at the U.S. factory, where they ship them into before they go out to their to the other music stores, their distributor network. This is a 27.7 inch scale from where the bridge saddles uh, break the break angle for the bridge saddles to the nut here. 27. 0.7, about 27 and 3 quarter inches. The short scale base is 30 inches, a little bit longer, and that's why it can be tuned a little bit lower. This is normally tuned to from B to B, so it's kind of halfway in between a regular six string electric guitar and my short scale base. So when I'm playing a, a basic chord up here instead of an E chord, the E chord shape on this guitar would be a B chord. It has some, they're, they're kind of traditional birds in flight inlays on the fretboard. This is a mahogany body. Uh, looks like about a three piece body mahogany neck. It has a maple, uh, flamed maple veneer on the top. Uh, probably not very thick. It has a rosewood fingerboard. This is back when they could, you could still use rosewood. They're, they're starting to use a lot of, well they've been using a lot of different woods over the years. Rosewood kind of comes and goes as to the availability and um, just the source if it is readily available or not to guitar makers. It has what is called three on a side tuners instead of six in line. The one guitar that I was leaning towards, except for the color, had six tuners on one side, but they were all down here. What they call a reverse headstock. Another thing I wasn't real fond of, but it was better than the other headstock on that other guitar. So this one has humbucking pickups, but if you pull out on what is the tone control, you pull that out and it is using only one of the two coils in each pickup. The three-way selector switch here selects which pickup or combination. When it's up here, it should be using what is called the neck pickup. In the middle, should be using both pickups combined. All the way back is using this bridge pickup. Pulled out, will be in single coil mode and a possibility of um, some noise. Pushed in, the noise is gone. It cancels because these are hum bucking pickups. I like the shape, double cutaway. That's one of my favorite types of uh, shapes. 
I like the color so much better than black. Um, I am fond of red, uh, much more so than that other, the second guitar that I was leaning towards. That was kind of a strange color. Um, so I'm going to be, I'm not going to put you through any torture tests on sound. You'll get that more later in some of the songs that I will be doing uh, with this guitar and when I do a complete review on this. Thank you so much for tuning in today and watching. Um, if you haven't already, please subscribe. Click the little notification bell down there so that you're notified of any uh, any time I post a new video. It could be flute review, review on this guitar when that comes up. It could be a music video. Could be a tutorial on how to play these wonderful flute instruments. Very simple, very easy to do, but I do have quite a few tutorials on how to speed up the learning process for you. So thank you again so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day. My day is awesome right now. Take care.